Welcome back to Wasteland 2. At the end of the last episode, we voted Heidi Hollander out of office. But Veronica wanted me to go find Heidi because she knew that Heidi would come back and try to have some sort of a uprising or rebellion or something like that. So, I figured she was probably in the sewers since I found in her place a keycard to the sewers and sure enough, here she is. Talking with an android. Let's go intervene. Hi. You bastards. Do you think you're heroes? You've destroyed Hollywood. You've ruined it. Do you think I liked selling salt? Do you think it didn't hurt me to turn those kids into zombies? It hurt like hell, but I had to do it. How else was I going to get the money to protect Hollywood? Do you think the HCC dues were enough? That was just chicken feed. I needed real money. What else was I going to do? I had to protect the dream. And now you've smashed it to pieces. I hate you. Enough blithering, Heidi. Rangers, you must know you will get no information from me. Uh, Master? What? I don't understand. Master? I'm sorry, we are not permitted to be subjected to interrogation. Please stand clear. This is a weird and awkward conversation, especially since I can't actually see the people I'm talking to. Uh, there we go. Now I can kind of see you. Tell me what I want to know? I mean, it's not going to work, but sure, let's try it. Yeah, of course. According to its stats, it's weak as hell. 10 to 12 hit points, that's, n I mean, 10 to 12 damage per hit. It's freaking nothing. gonna melt you into a pile of metal. Or explode you. That's cool too. Now for you, Heidi. Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. What should I do with you? I have an idea. Yes. Let's try this. Let's see what she does. And now we're gonna do this. Now she can't move. Then we're gonna punch her. No particular reason why I just made her not able to move. I guess I was picturing me like punching her once in the f once in the face, and then it wouldn't do much damage, and then I'd run away, and then come back and punch her after after she took her turn without being able to move. But instead, I kind of exploded her. Well, these things happen. Copy, Rain. Congratulations, Echo. Helen. Seven points, nice. Ah, I need eight points to get maximum sniper rifle. Shall I do weaponsmithing? I think I shall. Theodore? Seven points. Hmm. Could do any one of these. 
Let's do surgeon. Okay, well, that should have completed the quest, I believe. Took care of the salt dealers. Mm hmm. Time to tell Veronica that Heidi met an untimely end. Indeed. Sometimes I wish I could speed up the walking speed along with the combat speed. I feel like it's rather appropriate that this episode is number 69, if you know what I mean. Yep, we killed her. Thank you, Rangers. If Ascension hasn't spoken with you, you should know there's more trouble. If you would be willing to visit him near the gate to Los Feliz, he can fill you in. Please, take the small token of my appreciation. A thousand scrap, thank you. Of course there's more trouble. There's always more trouble. But that's what we're here for. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Congratulations, Echo. They call us the Untroublers. Great is brawling. What seems to be the problem? While we were away at the HCC meeting, Shepard Jones' followers staged a coup. They've driven my vigilance and fealty's ecstatics out of the bastion and have set up a mason cannon in front of the penitent barracks, making crossing the forecourt almost impossible. If you haven't already, could you find a way to take out that nest? Then we could storm the bastion and win the day. Can you help us? Sure. Once you take out Jones, there may be loyalists to his cause. Take out as many as you can. Fantastic. A small team like yours should be able to infiltrate through, infiltrate through the secret tunnel I always use to meet with Veronica. It's just around the corner behind the Hotel California, where the street dead ends. Mm-hmm. I thought these people would have been let out of their let out of their cages by now. Hmm. It's disturbing. Oh, hold on. Okay, so these are now enemies, huh? Ooh, if I get to kill the store owner, does that mean I get their entire stock of supplies? That'd be nice. They are gonna try to kill me, right? Yes. Ha! 
Ow. Well. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. My snipers seem to be really bad now. Unless I just switch to entirely using the anti-material rifle. Then I guess I'd be kinda good, but... I don't know. I don't have much ammo for it. Damn it. Theodore, you're supposed to be the person that, like, leads the team? The team leader, not the team killer? It's okay. I just upgraded to surgery skill. I don't even want to use my medbacks on everybody because I don't really have that many. I think I'd rather just see a doctor. Eh, it'll be fine. Oh my god. You do get the entire stock. Jesus. I, there's no way I can carry all of this. Okay, well I can definitely take the scrap. Oh crap, didn't mean to take that. I definitely want all the ammo. Is that 50 caliber? Point fifty. That, that's fifty cal, right? Oh my god. Okay, well, I can now switch to entirely using the anti-material rifle and not worry about ammo. Got a hundred damn shots. Whew. Nine millimeter, I think. Is that what Pazepi uses? Or does she use something else? I don't know, just distribute. Got a little bit of a weight problem. And you should have med packs and stuff, right? <laughs> One med pack? I thought you were the doctor. The shitty doctor. Also, what about these? Ah, oh, they're all locked. Do they have even more stuff? Like the store's secret store? More ammo? Jesus Christ. Oh, wait a minute. That one's actually kind of hard. What's his skill? Is, is he maxed? Oh, he is maxed. Sixty-two percent chance. Another anti-material rifle. Hold on, I thought Giuseppe already had another one, but I maybe I didn't give it to her because I didn't have ammo? I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to outfit her with one. It's going to make my snipers vastly more effective. Like, three times more effective. Okay, what do we have going on here? Let me switch that 50 kill ammo over. Give it to the wrong person. Yeah, so she's got the Sabra Marie, which is kind of terrible at this point in the game. I'm probably not going to use the Arctic Sniper. Like, ever again. So let's actually switch the weapon mods.
Okay, now it's missing something. What is it missing? Underbarrel. I think I have something for that, right? Yeah, there we go. Flashlight. Oh no, that's the shitty one that came from Theodore. I think I have a... Uh, maybe I used them both up. Let me see if I have any left. I think I had a laser sight. Like, I think I got two laser sights. I think I used them up, though. Yeah, they're gone. Alright, let's process some of this big crap and see if I can get something. In fact, let's just process the Arctic Sniper. Okay, that should help with weight a lot. So many shotguns. I'm just going to be swimming in weapon mods at this point. Jesus Christ. I don't think this is going to give me anything that I want to use, actually. Nah, it's all choke stuff. This might. This could give me a laser sight. Hmm. What about this? Ooh, 25% chance. Nope. Alright, let me just dump some of this load across multiple people. That sounded gross, I'm sorry. She's still really overloaded. Oh, I think the weapon parts are really heavy, aren't they? Probably the weight, too. Yeah, I think it's 8 pounds. Uh, some of the 50, like, half the 50 cal should go to... Just cry, that should help. Just spread the love everywhere. Okay, and we're good. Nope, no, we're not good. Damn it. Now we're good. I'm hoping to actually keep some of the weapons intact because I want to sell them for the most money possible, since I am kind of poor. Although, I've gotten a lot of my money back after giving away 10,000. Wait a minute, can I go inside of the chambers now? These places were locked. Nope, still can't go. It's like the private chambers of the, the high ups here. Oh shit, 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 hold on. An explosive would be fucking amazing here. Do ah, oh, do I have a rocket? I don't think I do. Wait, I do. 200 damage. Hell yes. One of those plus a grenade equals everybody is deaded. Alright, who's got a grenade? You do? Do I really only have one grenade? No, I've got two. <laughs> it's beautiful. Hold on. Let's get my people into place first. And yes, I'm aware that we're all almost dead. But hopefully I can end the fight before that happens. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Ah, 
<laughs> I can't reach. It wouldn't have the blast radius anyway. God damn it, that unloaded the weapon. Fuck. Yeah. I actually have a surprisingly low chance to hit them. kind of strange. Why isn't it like 100%? Looks like they're in the comfortable range, I think. Hmm. Oh, it's because they're in cover. That counts as cover? Okay. It's like a, a waist high table. She'll be fine, don't worry. Fuck, I unloaded her weapon too, didn't I? Well, the laser weapon. Oh my god, this is perfect. <laughs> Go punch him to death. What's her armor? Seven? So I can use my energy weapon. Excellent. But do I want to? Sure. <sighs> Kills your own dude. Good job. Man, he makes a perfect distraction. Let's go for you. Whew. Can't reach. Echo. Echo one, Harper. Four points, not enough for anything except bartering. For some reason my skills are all like messed up here. They're all stacked on top of each other. There we go. Uh, sure, let's do barter. Pazepi. Four points, not enough for anything. Okay, there's no way I can loot these bodies without becoming overloaded. That I can take. I'm just gonna leave this stuff here. Well. Guess I should take everything but the weapons. Ooh, that's worth a pretty good amount. It's also really heavy. It's fine. I'll just leave it. I'm not too worried. Okay, one of my quests updated. Which one was it? Jones and his followers have been defeated. Indeed.
Okay, okay. can I do anything special from up here? Because I still need to disable the gun, right? Like, there's a massive gun that's preventing people from coming inside. <laughs> Any chance I can get an angle on this guy and just shoot him from the roof? That'd be pretty cool. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Oh wait, there's more enemies? Oh shit, there is. Oh. It's pointing at us. Um. Go back inside. Oh. My people are almost dead. Okay, wait. I think this thing needs time to charge up, right? Can I hack it? No. Well, actually, wait. This, that's with this guy. I should try that with um, Harper. Alright. I think it's going to take a while to charge up, so let's just focus on the other dudes first, and then we'll just focus all of our fire on the Mason Cannon. Okay, yeah. Have at least a couple turns. It's targeting one person. Yulia, I'm sorry. We're all gonna run away from you. Alright, let's get our people into cover. Just spread out so that hopefully if it does fire, it doesn't kill all of us. Uh, in fact, why don't you just run really far away? <laughs> Do I really want to go punching a mason cannon? Sure. Yeah, beat it up. He has literally one hit point. Damn. Ooh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Laser sight.
Grand Slam weight. The high level weight for melee weapons. Alright, let's go ahead and put that attachment on. Yo, dude, you're free! Actually, we should probably kill everybody before we do that. Maggie's still hiding out back there. I think he's dead. Oh, the turrets. Shit! <laughs> I keep forgetting about these things. Um... Well, nothing to do but get to it. This is gonna hurt. Oh, that actually wasn't too bad. I actually have relatively light armor, which means I don't want to use this weapon. Then again, I can't reach it with a shotgun either, so screw it. Congratulations. Yulia. Nine points, nice. Let's do shotguns. Vulture's Cry, 8 points, cool. Don't need safe cracking. I've, I practically never need Animal Whisper, but... Oh wait, no, no, I don't need it because I have Akita Figurine. I guess once again, just Outdoorsman. You got a bit of spare space, Bazeppi. Yep, there's still people out here. Gotta clear the entire way. This is gonna put me in a very inconvenient spot. This thing's gonna open and they're gonna be looking right at me and I'm gonna be all bunched together. Not good. Oh well. Nothing to be done. <laughs> Grenade would be pretty good here. Let's not waste it though. Locked in. Mm.
Copy, Ray. Echo one, Red. Four points, not enough. Alright, let's just break this stuff down, because I don't think I'm ever coming back here. Okay, I believe that clears the entire way. Ooh, what is this? Oh, just a uh, control panel? Yeah. Believe they're free to go, but let me just check this quest, see if anything new has happened. Uh, we still need to complete Veronica's task in order to get the peace treaty signed. Uh, what is Veronica's task? Jones and his followers have been defeated. Uh, sounds like I'm done? Not sure. Oh, maybe now we're good? Be free, my people! Yeah, I think we're good now. Uh, no, we just did Maggie's quest. Let's go talk to Maggie. And why is your name tag stuck there, Louis Bermudez? Some weir weird Bermudez triangle phenomenon. Yo, we freed those dudes. We free the penitents. Okay, so let's look at the list of what she wants. She wants to see the penitents freed. Done. McDade wants to see the slavers Duke and Swifty and the salt dealers driven out of Hollywood. Um, have I done that? I killed the salt dealers. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I need to go kill Schwag? Not sure. But uh, I am curious what's here. Because I could never get in here before. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Apparently I'm not supposed to go here. The gate is open and the path is clear. No, it ain't. Whatever. Copy. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's it, or if there's more to do. Maybe I just have to go back to Veronica? Not sure, but I'm going to figure that out in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.